you can see my pinky nail. So maybe one more year of it. So it all smushes together. I'll come back and show you gorgeous blue skirt. And then I just put in some pretty basic earrings. Well, hello. Oh, the video today is I get ready with me. I'm basically gonna sit here and put some makeup on and chat. I'm meeting my mum for lunch and I've been wanting to do a makeup video for a while and I finally remembered to do it. So let's rewind to before I was ready. I put moisturizer on already and if I'm wearing makeup for more than just a few hours I will put this on which is for your eye eyelids and it's a base for eyeshadow and it just helps uh, your eye makeup stay on for longer. It's by P. Louise, which I think I'm pretty sure is an English uh, makeup brand. When I put this on, I will always put it on with whichever nail is my shortest. I'm right-handed, but I do use my left hand a lot in general for things. If I need to put makeup on my left side, I will quite often just use my left hand. Um, my shortest nail at the moment is one of these two, so I would use one of those to put it on, because you go right in. This is a new, I've never filmed from this angle before, so I've set up a mirror just to the left so that I can see what I'm filming. So I'm really sorry if I look over there rather than that. I have to get used to it. filmed one of these before with me putting makeup on but it was months ago and I ended up not posting it because it was before I'd really been showing my face either here or on Instagram and I just decided I guess I wasn't ready to do that. whatever I need is at the bottom. I'm going to sharpen this. Just a little bit. 
I'm going for lunch with my mum this afternoon. have a reason <laughs> to be getting myself ready. I love wearing makeup but I don't wear a lot of it but I wear it a lot of the time. If I've got time to put makeup on I will every every time. I really like the process of sitting down and putting makeup on. Just some brown eyeliner. This is from a brand that I really dislike. Sculpted, I think it's called Sculpted by Amy and I saw it online and I ordered it and then I hated it. But I had already bought three things from there so now I'm using them up. I have to show you a photo I found. I've been trying to find photos of me when I was younger, as like a child or a teenager, to see I could find a picture of my nails long as a child, because I'm not the youngest, so all of the photos of me are physical printout photos in the days before digital cameras. And, oh, what am I doing next? I'm gonna do a little liquid liner. So it's quite a laborious task to look through photos, but I recently came into possession of my dad's old photo collection and he printed out all his photos and he kept them really organised by date. So I've been looking through those in an attempt to find a picture of me younger with my nails long. are getting more droopy as I get older and so liquid eyeliner is not not the best for those with droopy eyes but I'm still holding on to maybe one more year of it photos of me playing piano. However, even though those photos are of my hands, it's amazing how poor the quality was of uh, photos back in the day and the printouts, even in photos literally of my hands playing piano, you can't make out what my nails are. Anyway, I found one and I want to show it to you. So this is a picture of me when I was 16. I think I'm just 16 in this photo. Am I 15? No, I'm 16. I can't play guitar, but I did, I did try to learn when I was younger, but I refused to cut my nails, of course. And on this picture you can see I don't know if it's going to focus well enough. 
you can see my pinky nail there and it's long. <laughs> my thumbnail is also pretty long on there but I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, that's the, uh, the best photographic evidence I have of my nails being long when I was younger. I found one when I was younger as well but it's even less clear than that. So it turns out that the whole rest of that video was then focused here on that picture and I filmed the whole rest of the video not in focus. So here we are again. I've tried to get, oh, I've got some transfer going on there. I've tried to get back to the same point I was at and we continue. So <laughs> I'm pretty new to the eyebrow game. For years I didn't do anything to my eyebrows. And thankfully the 2000s trend of tiny eyebrows didn't get me. But it does mean that uh, my eyebrows can look pretty scruffy a lot of the time. I'm just combing them through. This is e.l.f. This is a cheap eyebrow. I think it's very slightly pigmented, but it's more just about combing them out. I can't believe I filmed this whole video and I have to do it again. Anyway, let's do eyeshadow. Eyeshadow is my favourite part of putting my makeup on. This is actually a blush, but I use it as an eyeshadow as well because I really like the colours. I'm wearing a blue skirt today, so I'm doing the whole opposite side of the colour wheel, which is like red, orangey. these brushes from Arbonne which is not a cool company it's one of those like multi-level mark what's it called MLM I forgot what that stands for but their brushes are really nice shameless millennial and I do my makeup like a millennial as in I put the darker colour across the crease here and I see videos all the time about how as you get older you shouldn't keep doing that but I'm gonna keep doing it I was shopping yesterday and the shop assistant commented on my nails. It hasn't happened in a while. And she actually said, I really like your long nails, which is different to generally the comment I get is, whoa, your nails are long, your nails are so long. And I never know how to take that because it's certainly not a compliment. It's an observation and I know a lot of people actually don't like long nails so whenever someone says that to me I never assume it's a compliment. However, this lady said I really like your long nails. This is the same brush but big, bigger and again it's really good. So I was able to say thank you and she said do you use any treatment or do anything specific for them and I said no. 
I'm going to put this colour across like the main bit and I said no and then I was with my daughter as well and she said to my daughter do you grow your nails long as well and my daughter sort of went like this and showed her nails I said kind of because her nails are kind of long at the moment I'm going to leave this out because I'm going to use it for blush in a little bit this is a cheap eyeshadow but I'm just going to use the darker brown in the corners in the corner there and then pull it up a little bit like that hmm. I've lost the oranginess a bit, so I'm just going to add a little bit more from here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little bit under as well. Different brush again, of course. I don't know what this brush is. You have to be careful putting red under the eye or these sort of pinky reds. You don't want to look like you've been punched in the face. Subtle. I tend to do makeup quite subtle anyway, even if I'm sort of going full on. It's still pretty subtle. She says applying orange to her eyelids, to her eyelids. I'm going to leave the eyes for now. We'll come back and apply. In general, I don't put much makeup on my skin. I just never have, so I'm not very good at it. But I do have a concealer, which for the sake of the video, I will put on Benefit Boing. And I use this teeny tiny little brush to put it on. I had better be in focus. I do have this concealer on hand just in case but generally I as a rule I think skin looks better as skin I know people struggle with redness blotchiness or maybe freckles they want to cover up but as far as I'm concerned your natural skin looks better than your skin with makeup on and I realise I'm saying that while applying makeup to my skin. <laughs> I think I just, uh, in other things as well, but I really, I see the detail in things. And so when people are wearing makeup on their skin, I can always see it and I can see this, the texture and the texture of the skin underneath trying to break out. And I 
let's just think. Your skin is not as bad as you think it is. usually put it on big areas like that but um, there we are. I mean I'm of an age now where my skin is just pretty blotchy anyway it would be pointless trying to cover it all over I'd need face paint for my lips lipstick is something I'm totally not on board with I just don't really understand how people get it to stay on. I do own one. It's a really nice one actually. Yeah. Um, a Chanel one, a friend got me this for my birthday. And it's a really, for me, it's a really neutral kind of color, kind of pinky. But it's the same shade of my lips, just a little bit more pink, so it's perfect for me because it doesn't necessarily look like I'm wearing anything. Anyway, I'm not wearing that today. So what I do is I will put a liner on. And again, this is, I wouldn't do this every day. I do do it for videos sometimes because in videos I notice my lips look a little grey and this this just makes them look more lip coloured while not looking like I've got anything on smush that out a little bit this is just a cheap lip liner that I got from Amazon that's drying I'll kind of just rub in inwards the the lip liner so it all smushes together and then I kind of just get these more pink lips without actually having anything on them or it doesn't feel like I've got anything this in a video because my mum got it for my birthday. I use the same ones as the blush. As um, I use the same ones for blush as the eyeshadow, these two. And I'm just going pretty subtle I guess. Again, not something I would wear every day, but some days I look
lashes. Still a little curled from last time. It's raining outside. Reminds me of when I first started making these videos filming in December, January and the weather would be really horrible and my house would be cold. <laughs> Having said that, I am suffering from hay fever for the first time ever in my life and that's kind of miserable. to use two different mascaras if I'm really going for it. Today I'm going to use the, this one which is a primer anyway. You can wear it on its own. And then over the top. Well, that's gone on really nice. Why my hair? I spilled a little bit.
suppress my desire to hum and sing to myself. Enjoy the silence. I've been really into, um, I've been really appreciating music with good guitar in recently and I've been listening to Dire Straits a lot and um, I've got one of their songs in my head right now but I won't start singing it can you see this purple I have these purple feathers in my hair most of the time they're completely unnoticeable Separated out. I got them uh, sort of clamped in my hair when I was on holiday a few weeks ago. I think I'm mostly done. I'm going to add this is this is just a loose powder, and I'm going to put it on my eyes. It's for like oily areas. fake eyelashes but I don't have the, the drive to do that today. now going to film a sort of getting dressed story for my Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, I'll put the handle here. I sometimes film little getting ready snippets where I'll just get dressed or put jewellery on or sometimes makeup, I guess. And I've made it into a little playlist on my Instagram of just the, uh, the uh, compilation of the little clips so I'm probably going to film that one of those now when I get my outfit on and then I'll come back and show you the finished look I guess I need to do something with my hair anyway thank you for watching obviously this is a very new setup for me I'm not used to having my face in the camera. I don't really know where to look and what to do with my eyes. But I hope uh, I've pulled it off, but it's my first try. Uh, I can do another one if it's of interest to anyone. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get dressed and I'll come back. So I've gone for quite a plain top. This outfit is all about the skirt. If I stand up, you might see. This is a silk, beautiful, gorgeous blue skirt that I am just obsessed with the colour. And then this is a very plain top. I've got some pearls. I've put a silver 
necklace with it. I've got the rings on that I already had. I switched out this middle one so that I could wear this hand chain, which I think goes really nicely with the outfit. And then I just put in some pretty basic earrings. I like to go heavy on accessories if you hadn't noticed. And then I have done absolutely nothing with my hair other than take it out of the plait and went <laughs> um, so that's where we are I've run out of time a little bit so I have to go uh, I'll see you later